Alright YouTube, I've had several requests to make a video on how to do the ESC bypass on an old Chevy. ESC is the electronic spark control module and it can change the timing based on driving conditions. So first let me show you where it is. On the passenger side behind the glove box uh, you want to pop out the glove box and drop it all the way down and then in there that silver box in that old plastic holder that's your electronic spark control module and now for the good part where the uh, wires come from the distributor back here behind the engine you're looking at black white green brown it's, it's that four pin connector back there so if you want to bypass you're going to disconnect it and I'll show you a couple ways to bypass it And you're looking for this connector here. You've got black, white, green, brown. So pull the tab and disconnect the wire. So this side here goes to the distributor and this is where you want to make your bypass modification. So we'll set that aside. This other side here, this goes to your, this one goes to the ESC module. So you can move that out of the way. You can tape it up if you don't want to use it. So, there's a couple ways to do the bypass. One is you can cut your black and green wires, splice them together. Or two, I've created a module here that you can connect up and not have to cut anything. So you can leave your factory wiring intact and you can disconnect it at any time. So this is just uh, the same plug that you have on the other side and we've connected the black and the green wires with the jumper here and this is a nice weather pack connector everything's sealed up so it's good for long term use if you'd like to use it that way. It's also great to throw in your glove box just in case you need it on the side of the road someday. Because when your ESC module goes your car will not run. So, if you're using my bypass module, just plug it in, and now you've got black and green connected, and the white and brown don't need to be connected to anything, so you can just kind of let that hang out of the way, and we'll go start the car. Here we go. It's gonna be our cold start, and mine takes a while to start when it's cold anyway. And there you go. Now you're running without the electronic spark module. Okay, now my spark control module actually works fine. I replaced it a few years ago. So I'm going to put mine back to factory mode. And all you got to do is simply pull the tab, pull out my module. Alright, now we're snapped back into factory mode and back to normal. So again, you're connecting the black and green wires or 
really easy solution. Grab one of these. I'll put a link below the video here where you can get one. Um, so you don't have to modify your factory wiring and you can uh, throw it in your glove box till you need it or run it all the time. So a couple final notes. Once you do the bypass, it's likely you'll need to adjust your timing. I'd imagine your truck will start fine either way, but uh, you're taking away the timing control from the spark module, so you want to adjust your timing once you've done this if you're going to run it that way permanently. And of course you can remove that spark control module from underneath the glove box or you can leave it in there. It's not going to bother anything. Once you have this four pin connector disconnected, it's not doing anything. So it doesn't really matter whether you have it or not. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Alright guys, so if you're still with me, I um, figured I'd give you a little bit more information about this particular truck in case you're interested. I hate it when people have really long intros to their YouTube video and all you want to do is see how to do something. So put this stuff at the end. So this, my grandfather bought this truck brand new in 1986. And he had it till he passed around 2001. He passed it to my uncle um, who used it for a few years and then it sat in the field for four or five years not running. Um, he didn't know why. And my uncle ended up giving it to me after Christmas one year. Uh, about four or five years ago and I uh, got it running again got it all polished up it's a 1986 C10 Silverado and it's all original all factory to get it running what I had to do was uh, had to replace the tire so we could put it on a tow truck and bring it up here and uh, I had two different issues causing no spark to the spark plugs uh, my ESC module was bad. That's kind of how I learned about the ESC and how to bypass it. But also at the same time, I had uh, the ignition module inside the distributor was also bad. So I had two different things causing no spark, which was quite uh, a chore to troubleshoot. But uh, it was well worth it. So between the tires, those things, and a few other fixes, I spent about 800 bucks. Got the truck running again, got it looking really nice, and uh, I like to use it for the occasional trip to Home Depot or Lowe's, and um, just enjoy going around town in it. But uh, it's been it's been fun to to have to keep in the family, and um, hopefully we keep it for years to come. Thanks, guys, for watching my video.